Historic Columbia Foundation is a place you don't have to go back in time to learn more about Columbia's history. Here is a short preview of what you'll experience when touring the Robert Mills House. Short history of the Robert Mills House. It was built by Ainsley Hall and his wife Sarah in the 1820s. Unfortunately, Mr. Hall died before the house was completed, and for the majority of its life, it was actually the Columbia Theological Seminary, which was run by the Presbyterian Church. The Robert Mills House is a great example of a house that was built by an architect who we know his name, Robert Mills, we know he was from South Carolina, and yet a lot of people don't understand that he was actually the original designer of the Washington Monument. Prolific architect, very important to early American federal period architecture, and one of the few domestic architectural designs that he did that is still around today. When you go into the Robert Mills House, you will see period objects that date to the early 1820s. It's a time period that was very important in Columbia's history. That's right after we became the state capital, and we're really growing in influence. And you will also see temporary exhibits. We change those rather frequently. We try to incorporate exhibits that talk about our museum collections, specific things that are happening during a time of year, and other special events.